my legs were so sore I had to stretch them out so don't feel that you have to sit in a cross-legged position because I've been sitting here cross-legged stretch your legs out take them out if you need to now as we're speaking my leg literally has now fallen asleep this leg let us just relax our legs for a minute to our shoulders let us put some energy to our shoulder let us also give gratitude so as we are feeling our body instead of wishing that it was something else let us feel each part and say thank you for each part that is functioning, each part that has gets us through our day, each part of our body that allows us to continue to live in this world and to have connection using our hands the amazing things we get to experience by having hands let's give gratitude for our hands shall we as we massage them with much love remove any stagnant energy down from our shoulders down our arms down our forearms and out of our hands these amazing hands that do everything for us we would be useless so much without these hands our lives would be so much harder. And imagine all those people that don't have hands right now and send them love and healing and comfort and be grateful even more so for your hands. Because, um, yes, we wouldn't be able to do half the things that we can without them. And uh, as we have chakras centers here, we also have them in all the different parts of our bodies, but in our hands especially. So we need to give extra love and attention to our hands because especially they're always touching everything and that they're, they're, so they're what's interacting on many levels for us. And even subconsciously as we do things, our hands are always serving us. So let us give thanks and praise for these beautiful hands that help us also make such beautiful gestures in prayer. Make such beautiful hand symbols and to move our hands in ways that bring beauty to the world. And let us say sorry for every time we have used these hands to harm this world, to harm ourselves and to harm each other. Please, God, forgive me for using these hands so many times in ways that you would not have approved out of ignorance and immaturity. Please help me to forgive me, forgive me of my sins against others using my hands. Amen. Lord, let these hands from now on never cause any harm, but only to help clear this place. Let my prayers always be strong and powerful. And when I hold these hands together, let you see the humility in my heart. When I pray to you, Lord, let all humility, humanity find peace and happiness once again on this earth. Amen, God. Dear God, please also help me to be powerful enough within myself and never fearful of the darkness so that I may be your ever-working vessel of light, love and light to illuminate those that are lost in the dark and wish to come back to you, the Father, Uh, 
You can see I haven't made videos for YouTube. I'm all over the joint. Sorry, the first guided meditation went a bit screwed off. But, um, and, um, yeah, the fact that I'm sort of sitting in this hotel room um, because of the fact that my family put a hit on me and I've had to leave my, my home and my children um, for theirs and my safety um, is also absolutely hurting the most scenario. So I make a video. But I have to say, this thing makes me happy every time I look at it. Somebody gave this to me in Airlie Beach and um, she very much reminded me of my daughter and I know that my daughter was working through her in the crystal shop to give me this. And um, I've got the little purple amethyst that was in it, one of the crystals. And it also has... Oh, Another little ball, little blue crystal thing, so maybe not. Maybe not. And look at that. When we had the wake for my daughter, there was a giant big pine tree that, that was in the shape of a um, Christmas tree. And that's what came to my mind. And there's also a clear quartz, a little clear quartz. Anyway. And then when I went out to get a card from the um, place that I'm at, I'll just cover the name, seeing as I'm being stalked and followed. Um, it was this colour. I don't know if you can really see it. But it's, yeah, it's the same colour, let's just say, that I painted my daughter's um, nursery before when she was a baby. Yes, back in 1993, we painted the nursery the same colour as the card. So she's always, my daughter's always um, signalling me everywhere. And I believe that she, she prompted that girl to give me this. And um, her name was India Rose. My daughter's name was India Rose. And I've got this doll that I carry everywhere. And um, yeah, there's Indy. Yeah. It's my Indy Rose. And she would have been 29 on the 27th of May. Um, yes, and she loves me. She's my little like, ride and we never die gangster. Right, never die, get it? Thing was it the Eternals? Oh, um, yes, thank you. I have to say, especially shout out to um, Memoirs of a Black Hole Love Sister. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to see your face when you're reading, but I understand why people are hiding their faces. But you know what? God doesn't want us to hide our faces. We don't have anything to hide. We are all beautiful and we should show our faces. And I personally would love to connect to lots of other people um, that are going through this um, and if I can help in any way, because as I've read all the comments on YouTube, there's just there. it seems like thousands of us worldwide going through this. It's actually quite disturbing how strong the agenda is to destroy the divine feminine and basically turn the world into a bunch of closet fudge packers. We're not having that. We're not having that, are we, girls? So, um, anyways, I'm going to end here because I know I went off track and I'm meant to be checking out shortly. But um, I will make another video that's not as all over the joint. And um, I feel excited watching all your videos for the last year. All different readers has given me now the courage to finally do this. Um, I know that I have a purpose to help liberate many souls. And um, I am one of the chosen ones. I am one of the 144,000 birth angels, avenging angels, whichever side of the fucking gate you unfortunately choose to go on. It's not my choice. It's not as well. my choice consequence. You know, get the program. So, <laughs> thank everybody that has been in the journey. Um, I will very much like to donate to many of you ladies. I will very soon be in a position to 
be as generous as I would like. So I am waiting until that time um, because I don't want to send you dirty deals or something like that. Um, so not that money has ever been the point of any of this, and we all know this. This is about exposing the demonic love of money that has been um, controlling and dominating the looping of this fucking planet for too long and so it's not about the monies honeys we all know that most of us work on donation only and i am no um different i'm no i'm not um, the other ones, especially, but i am down with that so i have a vision to create and build these my husband's scary. um the biggest healing center in australia donations only um, so I am also using this video right now just to, um, need to call out to anyone internationally that has any moolah that is not attached to the moolah that would like to like lay it all down and let us create an international community of moneyless communities. Let's do it. It's simple. We just buy property and we just do our own thing because we're allowed to. It's our planet to not just this. So. Once we start realizing how empowered we are, we just will come together, build wonderlands everywhere, and then register them as whatever. I haven't looked into that, but we do need some really good people of the the light in the dark world of lawyers, I suppose, and things like that, um, because we will need to register these places so they will continue on um, for the likes of the future. Um, once they've been established, they will never be able to be um, sold or changed or whatever for future that will be available to the public forever infinitely to come and heal meditate um live possibly if you would like to join community um and yes basically prosper and awaken dna activate to our true natures our true selves live in pureness live in harmony um what could go wrong <laughs> Anyway, I'm a bit out there. I hope you guys um, can handle my flavor flavor. I certainly have enjoyed all of your unique flavors. And um, yes, so peace out from Australia, land of the Bogan gangster wannabe. Who knows, whatever. We're a bunch of bastards down here. If you didn't know. Um, it is worth a visit but nowhere actually is worth staying, if that makes sense. <laughs> Except in the bush. We've got the amazing nature, but it's getting me because I've just been coming to an area where there's crocodiles. I know I'm a queen of the Nile. I know it was whatever, but like, I know we had crocodiles back then. They were probably my pets. I don't know. I know I probably fed these people to them, but I really love ocean swimming, so please, please, please motion in the middle of the desert thank you so then we can have some and no crocodiles see you guys later bye